it's my pleasure to welcome you all once again to our second part of second chapter Halal Lines. How are you my dear students? Hope you all are fit and fine. What we discussed in the last class is about Halal Lines. The lines which are at the same distance everywhere and do not meet anywhere are called Halal Lines. Our teacher showed also some examples of parallel lines, right? Okay, let me discuss one more thing. What is that? Yes, parallelogram. You all learn what parallelogram is and its uniqueness. Now we are going to discuss the topic parallel and angles. Look here. Here, the top and bottom lines are parallel. You know. How much is a marked upper angle? We know that parallel lines should have same slant with any other line. So the marked angle 50 degree. I have a doubt. Can you help me? What is the relation between the four angles made by two lines cutting across each other? As you know that we learned in first chapter about linear pair. What is linear pair? If a line is drawn from another line, then the sum of the angle on either side is 180 degree. So, how we find out the angle? And when the four angles made by two lines cutting across each other, then the sum of nearby angles is 180 degree, opposite angles are equal. Here are an example for you. Here we have given two angles. We know that sum of nearby angle is 180 degree and opposite angles are equal. So the answer is here. Okay, fine. Now we are going to deal an important part of this chapter matching angles. We know when a line cut across a pair of parallel lines, eight angles are formed. In this figure, the bottom line make four angle and the top line make another four angle with the line cutting across them. We can pair one angle at the bottom with one angle at the top in several ways. Some such pairs are equal, others are supplementary. That means 180 degree. Let's look at a pair of equal angles. Angles in such pairing then according to similar position are called corresponding angles. What is corresponding angles? Equal angles from the top and bottom can be paired another man. Angles in such pairing then according to reverse position are called alternate angles. What is alternate angles? in page number 25 in your textbook. Let's do that. In the figure, the pair of parallel lines and the cutting lines are all named. The measure of one angle is also given. We need to complete the table by writing the names and measures of all pairs of corresponding and alternate angles. Here we know angle ACY is 60 degrees. Which is the corresponding angles of ACY? Yes, angle PRY also 60 degree. Likewise, we know angle ACX and angle PRX is 120 degree. How we get 120 degree? Yes, we know sum of linear pairs is 180 degree. So, 180 minus 60 that equals 120 degree. And another corresponding angles are angle BCX and angle QRX is 60 degree. We know opposite angles are equal and sum of linear pairs 180 degree. So angle BCY and angle QRY is 120 degree. One thing is to remark, angles with a reverse position are called alternate angles. Here, 
angle ACY and angle QRX is 60 degree. Which is the second pair of alternate angle? Yes, angle PRX and angle BCY is 120 degree. Likewise, angle ACX and angle QRY is 120 degree. And angle BCX and the PRY is 60 degree. One more question for you. Categorize alternate corresponding opposite angle pairs in this figure. Here we have four pairs of opposite angles. The first pair angle C and angle B. The second pair angle D and angle A. The third pair angle G and angle F. The fourth pair angle E and angle H. And corresponding angles pairs are We know what is corresponding angles? Yes, angles with a similar position. So, angle A and angle E. The first pair. And the second pair, angle B and angle F. The third pair, angle C and angle G. The fourth pair, angle D and angle H. Now we are going to write alternate angle pairs. What is alternate angles? Yes, angles with a reverse position. So, angle A and angle H. The second one, angle B and angle G. Third one, angle D and angle E. Fourth one, angle C and angle F. No, it's very easy. We know that when you line at a cross a pair of parallel lines, then the sum of the nearby angle is 180 degree and opposite angles are equal. And we know when a line cut across a pair of parallel lines, eight angles are formed. From this, some such pairs are equal. Angles with some such pairing, then according to similar position, are called corresponding angles. Angles in some such pairing then according to reverse position are called alternate angle. Hope you all understand. There is some homework for you. Please note it down. The first question, find all other angles from the picture. The second question, draw and color four pairs of corresponding and alternate angles. My dear students, success has no shortcuts. So be responsible, be sincere and be creative. It's Misha Bihar signing off. Thank you.